Hello, my name is Jesse, and today we're going to run through the auto discovery wizard in Nagios XI. When we're adding services or hosts to a Nagios XI box, we'll always have to remember that you must go to the configure tab to add hosts and services. So that's where we'll start. Let's go to configure and just click on the actual tab on top. And we'll see an option that says auto discovery. This is the option that we want, so we'll click it. So in terms of the auto discovery wizard, we have a couple of uh, past jobs that have run. These are all auto discovery jobs that have run in the past. What we're going to do is, uh, we, we have this button that we can use to refresh the job list, but what we want to do is hit new auto discovery job, just to show you what the new job process looks like. Now we can enter one IP address or a subnet, so we're going to use the subnet. Let's do 10.10.10.0 slash 24. So that is the subnet that we're going to be scanning for any, uh, any network devices that are going to be attached to that subnet. Then we're going to exclude some IPs. Let's say we want to exclude 101010.2 uh, and it's comma separated. So we can also exclude 10, 10, 10, uh, let's say five. So those are two IPs that we don't want to scan. Maybe they're intrusion detection devices or similar that might uh, trigger poorly or, or whatnot. We can set this on a schedule. So we can set this to happen daily, weekly, or monthly as desired. Let's just do it for one time. We have some advanced options here. We can turn on or off operating system detection. I recommend leaving that on does try and, uh, try and detect the operating system of each host that is scanned. We can set a scan delay in case, again, there's an intrusion detection system that might stop our packets from flowing. The auto discovery job process uses Nmap under the hood, so if Nmap is known to, uh, to cause problems with your detection system, then you can set a scan delay to stop those problems. You can also turn on system DNS if you want to resolve uh, IP addresses into DNS names, I recommend doing so. Hit submit and the job will appear at the bottom of our list. You can see 10, 10, 10, 0, and it begins running. So that's going to run. Now, this subnet doesn't actually exist on my network. This was just to show you how to set up and run a job. This job can run, the run can take anywhere between, you know, um, a minute to several days, depending on how large the subnet is, how many hosts that we're scanning, uh, etc. You can see mine's finished already, but there weren't any hosts to scan. If there were hosts to scan, like say 1700 hosts or so, and you're using like a slash 21 subnet, then the scan could take maybe a day. So, uh, with that being said, we do have a couple of subnets that have been scanned. So, in terms of those subnets, what we can do is we can see the amount of devices found here. We have the new devices and the total amount of devices. So it does keep track of which devices are already in the system. So let's just say we have two new devices here, and four devices total, so let's click two new. And then we can, again, select the job that we want to import those hosts from. The two new ones is good. We can choose whether or not to show all the hosts or just new hosts. Let's do all hosts. And we can choose which services are selected by default. Uh, we can choose either common services or we can select all services. I will select common just so you can see what that looks like. Then we can choose whether or not to use IP addresses or DNS names. I'll choose DNS names. Hit next. And here you can see a list of our four hosts, one, two, three, four. And then you can see all the services associated with those hosts. This one has HTTP, HTTPS, and a couple of TCP ports open as well. This host, very similar, SSH, has some web ports and some TCP ports as well. And these two just have web ports. So uh, from this screen, we can select which services we want to employ on these hosts. And we can uh, deselect hosts if you don't want to actually import those hosts. I'll deselect their services as well. You can see that some of the IP addresses have resolved into DNS names as well. Now, all that's, all that's required is to press this next button and then press finish, and all those hosts will be imported in addition to all of their services that will be imported as well. So let's do so. We'll press finish, it'll verify, it'll complete. After this is done, what we can do is click the magnifying glass, type ESX, and we'll check out the host that we've just added. And here it is. All it's checking on all of these uh, all these open ports that the auto discovery process has scanned. We can force these to check instantly. So let's force an immediate check here, and we'll take a look at that. And it looks like HTTP is indeed still running on this host, and that's all there is to it. This is a it's a very basic wizard. It just scans hosts for open ports and automatically imports the host and all of those services and associates the services with the host. All right, and that's it. That's uh, auto discovery in a nutshell. If you have any additional questions, please contact us at the support forum. That's at support.nagios.com slash forum. Otherwise, uh, please feel free to check out our related content at the YouTube channel. Thank you.